Hey everyone, Steph here, welcome back. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the amazing Chanel 21K collection. New collection releases are always super exciting, so make sure you get involved in the conversation down below in the comments. You can also message me on Instagram, let me know which pieces you are liking. My handle is at handbag underscore holic. And if you haven't joined our luxury addicted family yet, make sure you do by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing out of the entire 21K collection, which piece is my favorite. Let's dive straight in. So these screenshots are actually from fell in love with Chanel on Instagram. I will link to her Instagram down below. The first slide of bags. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have seen this color a few times now. It is this new lilac-y color. So on here we can see it's like um we've got a really beautiful lilac and then we have a really kind of light blue as well. I'm definitely noticing quite a lot of pastels for this fall, which is quite strange because normally we go for darker colors, but I feel like you can definitely access a darker colored outfit um, and kind of cream knits that and cream coats with these lilac colors and it definitely adds something lighter to your look. So I'm really loving those. And uh, we've also got that lilac-y color in the classic flap here in a chevron print. We have this like light colored top handle bag in a pinky color. We have a black Chanel 19. This looks like it might have darker hardware, I'm not too sure. I can't quite tell from the picture. That looks really, really nice. I'm loving, as we already know, uh, the 19 bag. I've got the, I got the 21P, I believe it is caramel color. And it is coming back for 21K, slightly different color, but very, very similar. We'll come on to that in a second. We have a shiny reissue at the top here. Um, we've got like a shoulder, like rounded boho kind of bag. I'm um, really liking the white. It looks like a white off-white boy with shiny gold hardware from what I can tell from these images. I definitely feel like white bags are coming back into fashion a little bit more. Um, they still scare the life out of me as I'm sure they do you guys as well, but um, they do look incredibly beautiful at the same time. So Loving this color palette, got some pastel. Let's move on to the next slide here. Now we've got some darker colors. We've got blacks. We've got this caramel color coming in. Uh, so the 21K caramel, I don't know if that's what it's going to be called. I have seen some pictures and it looks slightly more orange, more like a pumpkin kind of color. Uh, we've got blacks, we've got golds. I'm loving the gold. Um, I'm not exactly sure which bag that is there. It just looks like a, almost like a wallet on chain style bag. Uh, that's really, really beautiful. Loving this top handle bag in the bottom left hand corner. It reminds me of my business affinity, um, but bigger. So yeah, I'm definitely liking that. I'd like to see that. You know, if you need a new work bag and you want it to be quite secure, so you don't want a tote, that could be a fantastic solution there. On to the next slide then. Here we go. We've got the classic flap in the lilac. Uh, it looks like possibly either the champagne gold hardware or silver hardware on there. Probably wouldn't surprise me if it is silver. We've got the light blue color in the classic flap. That's absolutely stunning. And oh my gosh, the one that I'm probably most excited about on this is two. Um, you can see the 19 Maxi in the bottom, second from the left on the bottom, the Caramel 19, again, slightly more orange possibly than this one. I need to see it in real life, but some people have got back to me and said they've seen it and it is slightly more orange. Nonetheless, still a fantastic color. If you missed out on the caramel the first time round because wait lists were just solid um, and they were really hard to get hold of, this could be your second chance to get hold of one. But also the iridescent rainbowy style. Uh, I believe this is going to be a caviar leather. Um, it looks like a little square vanity case. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna see more of this in some of the other bags as well, but we all love an iridescent. They are the unicorns of the Chanel world. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about that. Uh, it looks like we have like a tartan style tweed. Um, a little bit sad, I've not seen any hound's tooth in this collection, so we'll see what comes through eventually, but yeah, not seeing any so far, and we've got quite a few uh, black options here. Now let's move to the next slide. Having lots of fun here. The first thing my eyes went to when I saw this um, is the fluffy things in the top right hand corner. I don't know what they are. Um, it looks like by the strap, um, it could be a bag. So with leather, then a chain and then a fluffy uh, style bag. 
I need to see these in real life. I'm all for a bit of like fluff and shearling uh, as we go into autumn winter. They look really, really fun. Don't know how practical they're going to be realistically, but very, very cute. Uh, we've got like a rainbow style bucket bag in the top center here. Wow, look at this. It's like green goes into blue, goes into purple. Again, a huge unicorn bag here if you manage to get hold of one of them. I'm not feeling the rainbow colours so much on this one though, um, but I do think it would definitely be a statement piece. Got some black, which looks like we have some possibly like a printed caramelly colour. We've got some silver and gold going on there. It looks like we might have a fluffy classic flap it looks like uh, in with white leather and silver hardware that's on the bottom row near the right hand side and then what have we got here some kind of velvety i believe like rose print possibly and then oh my gosh bottom left sorry i'm not doing this in any order uh, the vanity case the white vanity case with the gold on there in almost like a quilted diamond style very excited about that vanity case now on to the next one we have some rainbow style my eyes just drawn straight to this so i'm just going to go for it the kind of tote bag and is that a classic flap yeah a classic flap with chanel written all over it i'll be honest this one's not for me, um, but maybe if your style is a little bit more retro and colourful out there, you know, you don't want the black caviar classic flap, you want the rainbow multicoloured Chanel plastered all over it, one of these bags could be for you. Also, just to let you know, I'm not sure what the prices are, you will have to contact Chanel directly for them. Uh, what have we got here? Looks like we've got the iridescent in a mini rectangular or some kind of mini wallet on the right hand side. We have the bucket bag with a black bucket bag. It looks like possibly this is going to be in calf skin with like a pearl strap and chain strap. Then we've got these like in the bottom right, these like boho style bigger kind of bucket tote bags. Um, not sure about these. I don't really like the oval buckle on it. I'm not sure why, it just looks a bit too retro. Um, but then they've obviously put the chain on. So they're kind of going with a more modern eddy look like what they've done with the 19 bag. So yeah, liking them. The bucket bag on this page is my favorite piece, definitely. Straight to the middle, blue fluff again. So we had the black, the white, and now we've got a blue fluffy bag. I believe it's a bag, maybe it's purse, maybe it's like a clutch bag. Let's find out um, when they are made available. At top left, we have some, what looks like small kind of vanity cases on chains. They look like they're probably uh, shiny gold made from probably perspex, so they aren't going to like fold out. Um, so you'll only be able to fit inside of them what you can. We have a smaller version, so the gold diamond vanity case, we've got that in a smaller one. This might be more like a camera sized bag or it's gonna be really small. I can't tell from this picture. That's going to be one to watch, I do like that. Oh my gosh, bottom row, center, look at this. Look at this, we've got the iridescent uh, wok here. This is going to be a sellout piece if you want this get on a wait list now. Um, I've accepted a wallet on chain, just too small for me. It's not gonna carry everything that I need it to, so I'm gonna leave that parked, but if I was looking for a wallet on chain, this is one that I would seriously consider. It also looks like we might have like um, another wallet on chain here, maybe slightly bigger, I can't tell, with a bow on the handle in like a white silver. So this could be like a white silvery iridescent that's gonna be beautiful. Kind of reminds me of like the color of snow in my mind. Well, no, snow isn't always that color, but still. Uh, we have a boy wallet on chain in what looks like the light blue color. And we have the Chanel 19 wallet on chain on the left-hand side in white with, I believe, all black hardware. So it looks like maybe they are going to be bringing the 19 out with just like all the same color hardware. Whereas at the minute, um, when you get them, they come with the gold, the silver, uh, and the darker silver, and then the brass color hardware. So it looks like maybe they're gonna start bringing the 19 style woks and bags out with just one solid color. That is going to be a game changer for some people because they don't like the mixed metals on the 19 bags. Very excited to see where this could go. We've got the lilac on there again, and we've got the coin purse, which looks like it could be in the iridescent white. Onto the next one, we'll go through this one as quickly as possible. Um, lots of small little pieces here. It looks like we've got some of the um, 
Small purses, again, coming in the iridescent, they always sell really, really quickly. Everyone loves those. Uh, we've got the gold again, and it looks like we've got some mini vanity cases. On the, in the middle, on the right-hand side, it looks like we have a belt bag, possibly. I do think they're really nice if you only need to carry cards with you. Um, if you need to carry more, like what I do, you're gonna need a bag that carries a phone, but it looks like we've got lots of options for small leather goods here. Again, the next slide, we've got the boy wallet um, and the top on with white. We've got the purple again, the lilac, we've got the blue. Um, on the bottom, it looks like we have like card holders in the light blue and white with pearl chains. Beautiful, um, they're very, very cute. Again, for me, not practical, but I'm really liking those. You've got a dark blue vanity case. Navy is always a really good color. I wouldn't say this is navy, it's definitely a blue, but for anyone that does like your deeper colors and your blues, maybe this collection is the one for you. Okay, onto this one. Um, this one's exciting. We have, I'm gonna go straight to the center because my eye's gone there straight away. We have the gold kind of pouch there, like a mirrored pouch. We've got the light blue there as well on the left-hand side of that one. Then let's just take a quick look at the bottom left. We've got the pink iridescent. It looks like what could be a camera bag. It's probably going to be quite small. So that could be a great like vanity piece um, to put your cosmetics in when you go away or if you just need a really, really small bag. Then it looks like we have a Chanel 19 it looks like the wallet on chain, but even smaller. So like a card holder version. And this is in what looks like the kind of caramelly color again, with, from what I can tell, all dark hardware with the gold CC chain on the front. That That is going to sell really quickly. Love that. Then we've got next to it, a 19 style, again, with the chain CC belt bag. So a card holder. Let's go into the next one here. We have more of the belt, the small bags, the lilac -y colors. Iridescent again, look at this iridescent in the top left or second. It's like a purpley blue kind of iridescent color. It's almost like a light rainbowy style of bag. We've got whites on here, grays, blacks. We have a small card holder, looks like a belt bag again. Black patent with black CC. Black on black always sells well, they, they are, always really popular obviously it's going to go with absolutely everything slightly more understated as well because you can't see the logo as clearly as if it was silver or gold so that is it for the screenshots from fell in love with chanel thank you to her for sharing those over on instagram make sure you give her a follow again i will link to her account down below let's see what some of these bags actually look like in person so these photographs are from lisa um again i will link to her account down below thank you to her for letting me share these photos with you today um she's clearly been to a store and some of the the store has some of them on display so we've got the lilac color coming through here let me know what you think to the lilac color I like it. I feel like for some reason it's definitely a bit more summery. Um, but I'm really liking here. We have a top handle bag. We've got and then two boy bags. So we've got a boy bag in what looks like a patent silver with silver chains going around the edges and shiny hardware. And then we have the lilac purple with what looks like shiny gold hardware. That's gonna be a really good seller. And this is a very exciting photo. Um, a massive thank you to Ladine who has let me share these. This is the pink iridescent cocoa handle. I believe this is in the super mini size, or sorry, the mini size. I really love. My, my business affinity is a mini, and I'm not normally into mini bags, but for some reason, I do quite like them at the moment. If they can fit my phone in and my car keys, and you know, I can put my cards in there. Perfect, look at this. This is such a unicorn. Let's take a quick look at the Chanel website here. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll through because we have got some of the bags. We have this like satchel bag uh, going on on the homepage. Loving that with the black and the gold hardware. Then if we scroll down, we have some shearling. I am loving this. This is a tote bag. It comes in black with white crosses, uh, like squares, and then it comes in the other colorway as well, which I'll probably show you in a second. Here we go. So we've got it in the pink and the black as well. You can see it here on the classic flap. It's definitely quite a bold piece. To be honest, I would prefer if it was just a solid color shearling, um, but I do quite like the black version with the silver, I believe it's silver hardware there. It definitely, like I said, will add a lot of texture to a look. 
Then we've got this like tweed with this like punk rock vibe. So we've got Chanel on there and the logos, number five in like a red, oh sorry, like a pink, a, a black and what looks like a whitey color with looks like dark kind of hardware. Not sure about that one. It definitely has to be your style. It's not mine. Here we've got a sequin classic flap in black. How beautiful. And then we've got another sequin here. It's got like some kind of pattern on it in what looks like a really dark pink color. And here is the classic flap with the black. The black and again, silver with this print on. They look very, very nice um, if you want a more flashy classic flap. Now back, we've got another satchel here. This is one to watch. This has, seems like it's got a tweed on top. It's got the chain on it, looks like the 19 bag. You've got the big CC. That is gonna be a good seller. And here's the all leather version of it. So if you're looking for a more kind of casual looking bag, this could be the one, look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. I would definitely consider this. I'm just loving, I love bags with chains on. Additional chains, it just adds more drama and adds a bit of more of a bling almost to the bag. Here we have uh, what looks like a mini square. We've got the Chanel logo with pearls and chain combination. Liking that, we've got a smaller leather wallet here. Now let's take a look at the small leather goods for fall, autumn, winter. Excited for this one. Um, although I try to control myself because they're so beautiful. Look at this, a pink card holder cross body bag. Do you know what, I think these would be great for like a festival. Oh, we've got the paint and black one here that we saw on the PDF. Oh my gosh, that is lovely. I don't know where I'd put my phone though, but if the occasion arises where I only need to carry cards, I would, I would go straight to Chanel and get one of these. Uh, it looks like we've got a mini vanity case in white. This white with the champagne gold hardware is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. I am loving that. Just that close up photograph, it makes it so beautiful. We've got a bucket bag, a bucket bag with embellishments on. It looks like little crystals in black. That's stunning. It looks like we've got a mini rectangular there with all the kind of diamantes on as well. Here is the bucket bag. This is, yeah, this is like a New Year's Eve kind of bag, very special. Now, this is one that I am loving. Flowers on the strap handle, look at this. I need to know how big this is in real life because if I can get my phone in this bag, this is one, one to go for. White with the champagne gold, it just looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've got a flower round case there as well. Let's click into this because I need to see a closer, closer picture. Look at the handle. Flowers on the handle, the white, the gold. I'm again, not a huge fan of white bags. They, they scare me a little bit, but I feel like this wouldn't be like an everyday bash around kind of bag. Um, you know, if you've got a beautiful dress on, you're going out for some, I don't know, to a really nice event. You don't need a whole lot with you. Yeah, here we go. It looks like it definitely fits cards in. I think we're gonna be pushing it to get a phone in there. So, you know, if your dresser's got pockets on, you can put your phone in your pocket, but um, I feel like maybe it won't fit. Okay, so it's 12 centimeters across. Yeah, I'm not too sure that a phone will fit in there, but it is incredibly beautiful, 2,230 pounds. So my favorite piece from everything that we've just been through for 21K, I'm loving the color schemes. I'm loving the iridescent. But the piece for me that I'm probably most drawn to would be the black on black painting card holder. Now, would I actually buy it? Probably not just because it won't work for me. Like I said, the bare minimum that I need is my phone to be able to fit in the bag. Um, but I'm just loving the paint and the black on black. I think it's very edgy. Let me know which piece are you loving the most in the comments down below. I'd absolutely love to hear from you and get your thoughts as well. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'm going to be taking you through my entire Chanel designer bag collection. And here is my latest release. Enjoy. <laughs> 